chipmunk friends. Hi everybody at Bodell. Uh, I miss you very much. I um, actually want to read a story to you today. This is a book that I shared with my class last year. Um, and I think it's a really great book that celebrates spring. It's called Planting a Rainbow by Lois Ellert. <clears throat> see some flowers that I know even a couple from my own garden these are tiger lilies right here this is the title page planting a rainbow written and illustrated by Lois Ellert so that means that Lois Ellert wrote all of the words in the book and she also is the illustrator who made all of the pictures Every year, Mom and I plant a rainbow. In the fall, we buy some bulbs and plant them in the ground. That's something that I did at my house last fall, and I'm getting very excited because I actually see some of them coming up in my garden. And maybe tomorrow or Wednesday, I will try to film a little bit outside and show you some of the bulbs that are coming up. And I see here, they put some markers in the soil. This is that tiger lily I was telling you about. This is a red tulip bulb, an orange tulip bulb, a yellow daffodil bulb. I have some of those in my garden and some of these as well blue hyacinth bulbs a purple crocus corm so that's a little bit different than a bulb and something else that's a little bit of a different shape a purple bearded iris rhizome and I have a couple of these that I can show you too they look a little bit funny and they sit sort of on top of the soil a little bit we order seeds from catalogs and wait all winter long for spring to warm the soil and sprout the bulbs. And I know bef um, before when we were back at school, we were talking a little bit about signs of spring. So I'm hoping that in the past um, week, that you've been home with your families, you've had a chance to kind of sneak outside and maybe see some signs of spring. And hopefully when it's warmer on Wednesday, you'll get a chance to maybe get outside and look for some more signs of spring. Oh, and I even see a daffodil. And if you look outside, I think you might see some daffodils maybe in your neighborhood sprouting up, maybe even in your own yard. Then it's time to go to the garden center to select some seedlings. Have you ever been to the garden center? We sow the seeds and set out the plants in soil. Oh wow, so I see up here in this row in the garden that looks like it might be a bulb yep that's the tiger lily from before and then over here are the seeds they're very very small um this is a morning glory that's a blue flower uh this is a yellow daisy seed these are marigold seeds, zinnia seeds, and I actually do have some zinnia seeds at my house <clears throat> that I'm going to show you, and we're going to plant them in plastic bags. Sorry, that's Mabel chasing a toy. Um, we're going to plant some zinnia seeds and some other vegetable seeds, 
in plastic bags and watch them grow, but that's gonna be a different video for later this week. And then down here I see a bunch of those beautiful seedlings. Here's a delphinium that's gonna grow up into, wonder what color flower that will be. And this is a violet seedling. And this one, it's not a flower, but it is a plant. Um, I actually have some in the woods at my house and um, it's sort of, this is one of those very cool shapes in nature uh, that we see a lot all over. It's called a fern and it grows, it starts out as a little coiled up spiral, like a little snake that coils. And then as it grows bigger and bigger, the the coil sort of unfolds into a fern frond. And watch the rainbow grow. And that's what the gardens look like when the flowers haven't quite come out yet, but they're really starting to bud like these. And grow and grow. I wonder why the author and illustrator Lois Ellert calls the flowers in this book a rainbow. Do you know why? Hmm. I just noticed that rainbow. We have some red flowers, a rose, carnations, tulips, and orange flowers, orange tulips, and zinnias. Those are the flowers I was telling you about. Tiger lilies and poppies. And some yellow blooms, daisy, marigold. And do you recognize these flowers? They're a sign of spring. They might be popping up all over your neighborhood and yard. And we grow something green. Here's a really great picture of how those ferns coil up like a little snake. And some blue flowers. These are morning glories and they're on a long vine that kind of twists around things like um, mailboxes and coil up mailboxes. This is a beautiful flower. I actually have a couple of these that are in um, the garden at my house and they come up in the middle of the summer. They're called delphiniums. These are hyacinths. You could be seeing these come up in the next couple of weeks. And these are cornflowers, also very, very beautiful blue flowers. I love blue flowers. <laughs> and some purple ones too. This is another sign of spring. Do you know this purple flower? It's called a crocus. You might also see white crocuses or yellow crocuses flocks, irises. These are very beautiful, tall flowers that come out in late spring. Violets, asters, and pansies. And um, these come out in early spring at garden centers. All summer long, we pick them and bring them home. Look at that beautiful bouquet. That's something that I would love to grow in my garden and to be able to pick and bring into my house. All the colors of the rainbow. And when summer is over, we know we can grow our rainbow again next year. And there's another beautiful picture that Lois Ellert made for the book. Thank you for listening to Planting a Rainbow. Um, 
Throughout the week, I'm gonna be reading other stories to share with my chipmunk friends and all of the other children at Bodell. Um, I hope you tune in. All right, thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.